Hello, hello? It's Tuesday. What's the goal? That means it is Dranquest Day. Sometimes. It would mean that if I could actually keep to schedule. <laughs> but I do try to keep this this Dragon Quest day. It's really cool that mix it up still. Sometimes just uh decides not to work. I don't know if anyone was here to see that, but um I was struggling with the chat showing up on the starting soon screen. And had to fix that first before I uh, went and get my water. But now it should work, I think. We'll see. Ah. I'm trying a new thing today where I did a bunch of jumping jacks, like 20 minutes before stream. Maybe not the best idea to start that when it gets warmer, but um, I do feel more energized now. We'll see if that actually has any effect in the long run. But for now, I, have, I feel more awake, which is uh, already a step up. Anyway, we're getting back into Dragon Quest IV after I did not manage to finish up chapter 4 last time. We stopped right before we um, really got to explore the Mammon Mines with uh, Mina and Maya, who are still on a quest to avenge their father's death. So, uh, I think we shouldn't, shouldn't keep them waiting. Welcome back, Mina. I trust you had a f peaceful respite? Great goddess, may you watch over and protect this poor child. Amen. Yep, we are still right here. When we go through here, we can get... Back into the mines immediately. Uh, I think our HP should be... Yep, yep, that's the maximum for them. Ujam is really, really carrying his weight here. Said that before, but um, with, uh, with Mina being the healer and Maya being uh, the mage, it really is a godsend that Ujam is here to to basically work as the physical attacker. Ooh, yeah, right. I do have Sis. Of course, right when I when I say how, how good Ujam as a physical attacker is, uh we get everyone dazzled, so they're seeing illusions and cannot hit for their fucking lives. Ooh. Wait, when did Mina get whoosh? I completely missed that last time. So now we have two options to hit a, an entire group of enemies. That's... That's going to make... Battles a lot faster. Uh, right, we got that. Got that treasure chest already. It was where we got the tarot cards as a weapon for Mina, I think. Oh, the where. Okay, first of all, the name Venus Guy Trap. That's genius. And the were tigers are very interesting enemies indeed. 
Because, um... I think I first saw them... Are they in one of the Dragon Quest Monsters games? I at least distinctly remember them in like a lower resolution, so I... I could not make out their actual faces. So I thought they were just actual, like, bipedal tigers. Uh, turns out, no, they're basically wearing a fursuit. <laughs> and they do a shit ton of damage. Uh oh. Okay, Ujam is uh, prevented from casting spells. That's not too bad. I saw that Mina didn't take quite as much as Maya, so... Yep, healing Maya was definitely the right choice there. Nothing in there. We should probably get Mina up again because another fight against were tigers could lead to our demise. We have the featherweights. Um if only I knew who Ujem is going to attack. I'm guessing he's just going to work from left to right. So let's snooze the guy traps and fry that chicken. Okay, they don't fall asleep. Great, that's uh, a waste of a turn. Okay, let's start whooshing them. Then we can burn the chickens again. I like that it's always Ujam who's prevented from casting spells, who's, you know, the one character who does not cast spells in our party. That's very convenient. God damn that. Stupid chicken. Of course we miss. I think I actually want to defend with my- Yep. Yep, definitely a good choice there. Definitely. That could have ended badly for Maya. Come on. There we go. Twenty-six MP. I did not think I would have to be careful with my MP already, but... Oh. Huh. I had a lot of friends here once, but they're all dead now. It's about time I left this town, I think. <coughs> yeah, maybe working in the asbestos mines is not the best choice of... work. Salamander fry. Why are they fries? Well, let's... Maybe we can snooze those. And then sap? I would definitely like to snooze them just because... they can hit all of our characters. And that worked out perfectly, so now we can heal Maya. Um... I'm guessing Sis is not going to do a lot, but let's just test it out. Oh, that, that's still 18 damage. Oh, that's something where you cannot complain. Hey, we got a powder keg. You're here for gunpowder, is it? Should be a keg in that chest, I reckon. It's all yours if you want it. Won't do you much good, though. It's too damp to do anything other than make a loud bang. I should think. I can unearth monsters, I can hit gas, but until I find gold, I'm not shifting. Really dedicated to the grind there. Couldn't be me. 
I am not born to grind. I am born to nap. I am born to frolic, not to grind. Oh. Jinxters. Oh. I, I just saw how low the uh, bar for Ujem fell. I was like, ooh, I should probably heal him, but 33 is not actually that dangerous. Still, of course, we want to keep him safe, so. Okay, with how short this dungeon turned out to be, I could have probably done that last time still. But it was already, like, 1 a.m., don't wanna. Don't wanna risk doing too much at that time. Um. Wait, is, is this just the end? At a relief, or you'll end up like the person next door. I've always looked after the sick and injured. No, I not rest here at all. Okay. Then I guess we will just move on. Oh, some slimes. I remember that you fused together to the into the king slime. Yep. But we also have already learned that this is not really as much of a problem as you would think. The only really annoying thing he does is uh, that purple mist, which uh, makes spells fizzle, basically. Get Mina to level 10, and Maya as well. Very nice. So that's... Hopefully, going to be enough for what we're going to do now. Can I put you to sleep? Yes. Good. I mean, they're weak enough that it's not that important, but... Always nice to figure out which enemies you can put to sleep and which ones you can't. Um, right, this is where we actually want to go. However, I would like to go to a port town first. Avrelion or, uh, or, or whatever it was called. And rest up. 18 gold. And then we should hopefully be ready. And back in we go. Now we have a powder keg. We learned last time that um, the Chancellor here is, like, really scared of loud noises. Okay. Moi, I am the Chancellor of this castle. You are in my personal chamber. If you do not leave to the suite, I will have you locked up in jail. Hmm. Okay, so we need to figure out where to actually use the powder keg. Haute cuisine and fine wine are the joie de vivre. It is paradise on earth here. Hmm. Where do we use the powder keg? Oh. Right, they took that out of this game in um, 
Dragon Quest V for DS, you can actually talk to your party members like that. But uh, for some reason, like in Dragon Quest IV in Japan, it still was a thing. Like it, it, it was actually implemented, but they, they for some reason took it out of the localization. <laughs> okay, just sleeping guard down here. Um, maybe on top of here. Only one man who knows the whereabouts of the new Marquis Regent's chamber. And that's the Chancellor. You could probably find out where it was if you followed him. I wouldn't like to be the one to do it, mind you. Mon dieu, how can the Chancellor love himself so much when he is such a useless coward? He is full of the amour propre. Just make the loud noise outside of his chamber and see how he reacts. He'll be so startled he'll go running to the Marquis Regent. You will see. Yes, I would like to see that. Like, where do I actually... Maybe, like, back here? I want to use the powder keg. Aha! <gasps> oh! Where is he going? Oh, it's just... There's a button concealed in the stonework. Hidden door opens up in the wall. Only thing missing is like a poster to hide the button. Who are you people and what are you doing in here? If you do not depart immediately, immediately you will find yourself in trouble most serious, my friends. Sacre bleu, who are you? And what are you doing in the chamber of the Marquis Regent Balzac? Get out now and forget that you ever saw this room, or there will be trouble. Ah, the beautiful daughters of my poor teacher, Mahabala. What? You seek vengeance for your father? Against Mo, the great Balzac? Your father was an imbecile. He did not even know what he had discovered, the secret of evolution. There is no Darwin in our world. You know how important that is? Oh, quel dommage. If he had only realized its power, he could have been ruler of the old world. Okay, now that's maybe going up too far. Now you will see for, you, for yourselves my tour de force, evolution without limitation. I don't think that's how evolution works. Hey, apparently that's Balzac. Mm, can we put him to sleep? Oh. Okay, we can lower his defense, but not put him to sleep. Also, right, we want to use the Sphere of Silence. We collected this specifically for this battle. Unable to cast spells. Smart! Isn't affected. Okay, I guess we're just going to use Sap and... Okay, still isn't affected. Um, so I guess we're just going to use magic then. Mina is going to... Heal Maya. Maya is going to Riz. We'll see how much damage that does. And Ujam is basically doing most of the damage. Because he can physically attack. Um Yo, chill. Critical hit. Let's go. Oh, and now he isn't affected by that anymore either. Um Ooh, Mina lives on one. Holy shit. Yeah, we really need to... 
like look out for our HP and heal early here. No, I didn't mean to. Ah. My finger slipped. I didn't mean to try to run. Now Mina is like in danger again. Okay, okay. No problem. We. I think that's what that means. However, I think it's more worth it to use the Sphere of Silence. Uh, to use heal on Maya and defend with her and then use the heal. Oh, cool. He has full heal. Okay, so it's not worth it. We do immediately want to use the Sphere of Silence again. We want to cast him from... Uh, we want to keep him from casting spells at all times. Very important to note. Okay, Sap. We're going to heal Maya and Frizz. This time we're attacking with Mina as well. Okay, I think now we're going to heal Maya and defend. Fireball, okay. Mina is going to heal herself and Maya is going to do a little bit more damage. Heal and defend. Okay, another fireball. Fizzle. Wears off, so we want to use the Sphere of Silence again so he doesn't heal himself. Maya is just going to frizz again. No, why is he faster? Fuck off. Oh, that's annoying. Defense returns to normal. Mina is going to heal Ujam now, actually, and we're trying to sap his defense again. And Maya, you're just going to defend. And we're going to heal up Maya. Riz. I want to try something. If I use the Sphere of Silence now, does that just not do anything? Or does that, like, make... Okay, I think that resets. At least it looked like it said that he's unable to cast spells. So if that's the case, I just want to use the Sphere of Silence early enough so that it doesn't run out, because otherwise he will just use full heal. Okay, Mina, heal yourself. Fuck. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. And Mina is the one who has the Sphere of Silence. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Please, please be enough. Okay. Mina doesn't get any experience points, but we, at, at least we did it.
Cool, Balzac. You should not have let your guard down. Survival is only of the fittest. Oh, <laughs> that's that's the guy speaking. Okay. That is why I cannot trust you with this place. Lord Zaro will never permit it. Marquis de Leon. <laughs> because he's a lion. I see. I was merely... Please, do not mention this to Lord Sorrow. Buff, I have no intention of seeing you dead. For now. Alors, I must introduce myself to the daughter of Mahabala. I am the Marquis de Leon, true heir of this land. It is me who you want. Me who you must engage now in combat. Bien, en garde! Um, yeah, I don't think this is a fair fight. <laughs> yep, yep, okay, cool. Hey, we did one damage. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely scripted death. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Ah, you've regained consciousness. You're Mr. Mahabala's daughters, I believe. Mina and Maya, isn't it? Whoop. Yo, bunch of barrels and pots we can destroy. Let's go. Ahem. I am the former king of this land. My people ahem, all believe that I'm dead. The man you just fought is my son, but well, he's bargained away his soul to a terrible force of evil. He even speaks strangely now. <laughs> Horror facts number 34. There is a France. You cannot hope to defeat him yet. You're not powerful enough. Leave this land while you still can and build up your strength. Set sail away from here. There's an unused boarding pass <coughs> through the hole in the wall there. Take it and go. And promise me you'll return one day to help restore my kingdom to its former noble status. Sure thing, old man. Oh, how convenient. It's even in a treasure chest. A boarding pass. So now we can... Oh. Hmm? How did you get out here? Oof. The guard wall has spotted us. We're in big trouble now. Ooh, jam! The prisoner escape! Guards, get them! We'll never forget you, Ujam. I will take care of these guards. You two must be escaping. And on we go, without him. Well... We have some better armor we can get to prepare for what's coming. Yeah, we can buy the fur coat for Maya. Uh, no, I don't think we need anything from the item shop. Wasn't there a weapon shop here? Ah, there it is. Um, The iron fan seems good for Maya. Poison moth knife is even a little bit better. So I guess we'll get that. And I think that's it. That's how we're going to leave this place. We already saw was through here. 
because last time we got stopped here by a guard who said, Are you stupid? There's no ships leaving the harbor at night. You've got a, port a boarding pass, have you? Right, all aboard then. We'll be setting sail shortly. Why ain't we left yet, you say? You can't rush these things. There's a lot to do on a ship. Go and have a chat with some of the other passengers. Then go see the captain if you're still itching to get going. Okay, so... He's trying to explain to us that... Yeah, you can just talk with everyone here before we leave. Mademoiselles, I do not know what events you have experienced in this land. But do not despair. There are those on board more fortunate than you, and those who are less. But we all have the life. The joie de vivre must be in us all. Susie, 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 why wouldn't you? Oh, why? No, pull yourself together, Yorick. There are plenty more fish in the sea that are once too where you're going. But why? Why didn't you write like a Midwest emo song about it, Yorick? I'm Jack. <laughs> Yo, we saw you before in the in the inn. We came all this way to see Dad, but Jill says we have to go home already. It's not fair. I'm not going to tell Jack yet. I can't. He couldn't cope with the pain. He needs to be older before he can understand. <laughs> right, I think their father was a worker in the mammon mine. And, um, didn't do so well with the poisonous gases. I have a friend by the name of Mr. Taloon, who has finally opened up a shop in Endor. I'm on my way to congratulate him. I heard someone tried to bump off the Marquis de Leon. I don't know who it was, but that's heavy, man. Heavy. <laughs> if only you knew. Lots of nautical charts. The corners of them are bent and creased as if they've been very well used. And there's nothing interesting here. Once we leave avre this time, there'll be no way of coming back. So make sure you've no regrets, huh? Well, are you ready to get underway? I think we are. Right then. All hands on deck! Anchors away! Well, we seem to be going to Endor. Because uh, the one uh, merchant talked about congratulating Taloon there. Land ahoy! Pull in to Endor Harbor and cast anchor. And so Mina and Maya were forced to leave the place they'd come to call home, with their mission of revenge still incomplete. What was the force of light they had been told would come to their aid? Their adventures now began anew as they set off to discover the mystery of the light in this strange new land. And that's the end of chapter 4. Yeah, if I really pulled through, I could have probably um, done that. in um in the last stream but you know you don't want to force it well let's save and now we're getting into chapter five the chosen the actual main part of the game far to the east of endor nestled deep in the mountains as a little hamlet with no name. 
Its inhabitants once lived in solitude, never venturing outside, never welcoming outsiders. In fact, but for the villagers themselves, the world was oblivious to the very existence of this tiny settlement. They lived in peace with the spirit of the mountain called Monkey. Until one day, the strange folk appeared. There, all done. Be a good child, Possum, and deliver this packed lunch to your father. He's fishing at the lake again. It's been so long since we played the prologue that I do not remember how these people sounded. And don't forget your manners on the way. If you meet anyone, remember to greet them politely, just as I told you to. Yes, yes. Well, we probably don't have anything too interesting here. Hello? Ah, yeah! Hey! <laughs> Your concentration lapsed, Possum. Training for the sword is not easy, you see. I guess not. Hello, Possum. You're enjoying a stroll, I see. Yes, indeed. It is fine weather for it. It actually is. It's been really nice outside today. Yesterday as well. But, uh, that just means that in the coming days it's going to start raining again. <laughs> Gotta enjoy it while it lasts. Seems one of the brothers offered lodgings to a lost poet. I suppose he felt duty-bound to help a person in need, but... What? Nothing in the well. Oh, there you are, Possum. Today I was planning to teach you how to perform the Zap spell. But you look hungry. You cannot learn magic on an empty stomach. We will commence the class after you've eaten. Yo, we're getting Zap? Cool. Hello, Possum. Have you brought me my lunch? Come, Possum, I want to talk to you. Now you're in your 18th year. You shan't be a boy much longer. Soon you shall be a man. Now I will tell you about the birds and the bees. Ah, no, 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 please don't. So, my son, remember what your mother and I have taught you. Be honest and true. That's it? Okay, sure, I can do that. Yeah, that is... that is all. Okay, so the Dragon Quest IV hero has a canon age of 18. And the Dragon Quest III hero has a canon age of 16. The Dragon Quest V hero has a bunch of canon ages. You know how old he is at each point of the story. I wonder for how many protagonists you actually have a confirmed age. Hello, Possum. What are you doing in the village storehouse? Definitely not just taking everything I can get from it. No, no, I would never do that. I would never raid the warehouse and take stuff for myself. Especially not little trinkets and shinies. Um, are you in this house? Hey, it's Sephiroth. He was lost, you see. Traveling poet, that is. And he happened to stumble upon the village last night. I... I was foolish. I broke village law and offered him a place to stay. Oh dear, I hope this does not lead to any misfortune. Nah, it, it wouldn't. Never. There's never <laughs> been anything bad that happened to the hometown of the protagonist of Naurigi. No, no. Well, well. I would never have expected to find a boy like you in a tiny village like this. I'm a poet. I was traveling in the mountains when I got lost and ended up, and ended up here. 
I had no idea this place even existed. Interesting. Most interesting. Yep, nothing bad going to happen there. Thank you for that, Possum. Now, would you like something to eat yourself? Yes. Give me food. I'm hungry. Then sit down and I'll bring something over for you. Quick, quick, they're here! The, the monsters have found us! They're just outside the village! But I want my food. What? Possum, run away and hide at once! Don't worry about me, just go! Follow me, Possum. Are we just going into the warehouse? We'll keep the monsters at bay for as long as we can. Take Possum to the safe haven. Oh, Possum, if anything were to happen to you, I... I... Just hide, quickly. I'll join you in a moment. Yeah, we're just slowly strolling along, though. Curse these monsters. They finally found where we've been hiding, you Possum. By now, of all times, just a little while longer and we could have made a great hero out of you. Come, follow me, Possum. The time has come, Possum. Your destiny is upon you now. We have protected you from the truth until today, but now it has come to this. You must know, we... We are not your true parents. I wish I could explain everything to you, but there is no time. You must hide yourself at once. Damn. We were adopted? The monsters are attacking? Then we must take up arms. Oh. There's been a secret hideaway place here the whole time. Oh. Listen well, Possum. The monsters are here to take your life, for you are their nemesis. You have a secret power. You will one day be strong enough to defeat anyone or anything. No evil will overpower you. But for now, you are still weak. You must run. And you must stay alive until you are strong enough to fulfill your destiny. So, I am giving you this. It will prove invaluable in the quest you are about to embark upon. Your dragon quest. The Big Book of Beasts! Yo, let's go, bestiary. I love bestiaries. Remember, Possum, just run away. Run away and make yourself strong. That is what you must do. Is everything okay out there? My dear Possum, the time we've spent together has been so much fun. But now, I won't let them murder you. Morph. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Remember me always, Possum. Possum hears monsters talking outside. Lord Sorrow, the hero Possum has been eliminated. Excellent. You've done well. Rest assured that you'll be rewarded handsomely for this. We've nothing more to do here. We leave now. Well... That's a gut punch to start our adventure. Our hometown got moonbrooked. Oh, how is this going to impact the economy? Ooh, feathered cap. Did anyone think of hiding in the well? No.
Well, everyone we've ever known for an for our entire 18 years of life has just been massacred. Oh, I cannot equip that. Okay. Time to head out into the world and... Oh... Oh, this music makes so much sense in this context. You know, it's funny because I have played so much Dragon Quest Monsters growing up. I know a bunch of the music from the Dragon Quest games, even if I haven't played them. But um, when you're like in the gates of, of Dragon Quest Monsters, it's just a completely different context from from how this music hits here. And like this overworld theme works so well with just getting thrown into the world after witnessing everyone you've ever known dying. There's this melancholy and sadness to it. That you don't really appreciate if you don't have the context. And then the drum set in because you have to keep going because you're the hero. Oh, this is good. That's what it's all about, man. That's why I love these games. Seed of life on a grave. Have I mentioned how macabre that is? Doesn't seem to be anything of note. Except for the friggin' grave, I guess. Doggy! Broken. <laughs> Gold coins. Ooh, leather armor. I think, yeah, we only have plain clothes, so that's going to be helpful. Who be you? A traveler, are you? Well, there's nothing to see here. Just an old woodcutter's cabin. But you're looking so glum for anyways. I hate kids, and grumpy ones are the worst. Hey, I'm not a kid. I'm canonically 18. Why don't you just... Get on down the mountain and annoy someone in town instead, eh? There's a castle just southeast of here. What an asshole. Damn. Wouldn't even hear us out. Okay, castle to the south. Okay, yeah, that's not far. <laughs> Let me fill out the map. Okay, there's a cave. We probably want to go here soon anyways. Hey, Platypunks. It's one and a two and a three. Hello. It feels good to go for a walk at night. I agree with that. Night walks are very nice. No interesting books here, though. Stay at the inn. I can rob this person. Hey, plain clothes. Okay, you're just sleeping. That old man stands over there on the other side of the lake every single night. Wonder why it's starting to make me feel a bit uneasy. Oh no, is that old man a creep? Watching the moon reflected in the lake like that reminds me of my younger years. A long time ago now, there used to be a father and son living in the northern forest. Both of them woodcutters they were. The son met a beautiful girl in the forest one day, and the two of them fell in love and were married. But 
Then, one day, he was killed outright by a bolt of lightning. The father still lives there, though. All alone he is. It's still chopping wood, so I hear. Okay, he's not a creep. He's just remin reminiscing about his younger years. I was ready for him to be like that old man outside of the Salon City gym in uh, in the Kanto Pokemon games. <laughs> I'm, I'm not asleep, honest. King Humphrey. <laughs> Humphrey. The only way you can make me take the name Humphrey seriously is by adding Bogart at the end. King Humphrey has already retired to his chamber. Please come back again in the morning. Oh. See if something is upstairs. And then after that, I guess we're just going to rest at the inn. We even, yeah. We, we have 82 gold. That should be enough. Really now? Really now? <laughs> I just said the only way you can make me take the name Humphrey seriously is by adding Bogart at the end. And this fucking castle is called Casabranca. Oh. <laughs> How was I able to call the reference? Just from the name Humphrey. <laughs> we have an old saying here in Casabranca. When the evil one reawakens, so too will the chosen ones. That's not saying. Doesn't seem to be that applicable to everyday life. Okay, let me... Rest. Three gold coins. Yeah, that's... That's nothing. Oh, there's a whole adventuring group there. Oh. Good morning. I trust you had a restful sleep. Hello? We're traveling the world to find the monster of all monsters and wipe him out. You want to join us? Sure. Oops, sorry. It looks like our party is full. You'll have to find your own group of people to travel with. I wonder who they will be. Nothing scares us. Nothing at all. And people are saying the chosen hero who was supposed to have the world... Uh, to save the world has been killed by monsters. But there's no need to fret too much. We are going to save the world in his place. Okay, so you have a warrior. Oops. They had a warrior, a priest, a gadabout, and a merchant. I mean... Good luck with that. I hope you can turn your gadabout into a sage as soon as possible. What about you? Welcome to the item shop. Um, yeah, no, let me not buy anything here. You could travel all the way to Endor in the west now, thanks to the tunnel that Tornico Chap built. Ah, so that's what that cave was. It's such a shame for that poor fellow Tornico. Monsters are hunting him down just because he built a tunnel to connect one kingdom with another. Seems like we gotta help our good friend Tornico. One spin, two spin, red spin, blue spin. Jump and spin. Don't you think we dance well? We're copying the style of that famous dancing girl in Endor, you see. She's got a sister, you know? Yes, and apparently they're traveling the world to find some hero or other. Okay, so we're already hearing about our characters from the previous chapters. Apparently, there's a fortune teller visiting Ender at the moment who's really good. I wish I could go and have my fortune told. Okay, let's meet with the king, though. This is the royal throne room. I trust that you will show proper respect to his majesty. Hey, Humphrey, how's it going? Welcome to my castle, aspiring hero. I'm, I'm not... Going to try to do an um, <laughs> to do a Humphrey Bogart impression. I know that I cannot do that. No doubt you're another one out to save the world. 
You're a possum? That's a nice strong name. Now, let me tell you what's required of you. It's imperative that the Lord of the Underworld is prevented from reawakening. So I'd like you to travel the world to collect as much informa information as you can about him. You're going to play an important part in stopping this tyrant possum. I'm counting on you. Have you ever visited the Western Kingdom of Endor? It sounds like a really big place. The Princess of Endor and the Prince of Balimoral are going to be married soon. Oh, I'm so envious. And apparently there's this other princess joining their marriage as well. Her name is Elena. Oh, are you with those other four chaps who were here earlier? There have been an awful lot of people coming to see His Majesty lately with proposals of how to get rid of the monsters. I mean, getting rid of them seems a bit extreme. Maybe we just need some, some peace talks. There's an old, old legend of an angel swooping down from the sky to the northern mountains. She fell in love with a young woodcutter. A beautiful baby was born to them. Ah, uh, hmm? What happened to the baby? I have absolutely no idea. I'm sure it's just a fairy story anyway. That's definitely not going to be the story of how our parents met or anything. No, no, no. Oh no, pixies. Oh shit. Um, I did not realize that they were doing that much damage. <laughs> shit. Uh, whoopsies. Yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> I mean, we didn't lose that much yet, so... Who cares? Okay, so we should not try to... Um, fill out the map over there yet. It's also a good reminder to get some... Get some training in. Yeah, this is a lot more manageable. And we're level 2. Yeah, I'm guessing like level 3 or 4 should be fine. I mean, our next goal is just um, the Kingdom of Endor and to get there we just have to go through the tunnel. They also said that um, Tornico is being hunted by monsters because uh, he built that tunnel. So I don't know if that's not maybe overrun already. Because there seems to have been like some kind of time skip between um, the other chapters and this one. We gotta keep a little more close to castle I think. Not so close that we enter it though. Just because we're already at 13 HP. Come on now. There we go. No, whenever you actually want to fight the Monsters just don't seem to want to come out of their hiding spots. What's the deal with that? Okay, we have one more medicinal herb after this. Maybe I should have bought a bit more, but... I mean, we can get... We can get more after I've used these. It's not like they're going to run away. Yeah, there's surprisingly few monsters attacking right now. Fire Spirit and Platypunk. I do not want to take a Frizz. Would be really nice of you. Ah, there it is. Could you please just hit the stupid Fire Spirit? Are you serious right now, game? Ah! 
not dealing with this. No. What the fuck? What was that? How high are the chances to miss them? Like, even if that was a 50-50. Was so unlucky. And my guess would be that the chance is actually lower to miss them. Because 50 50 would be really mean. Like, that's something I, I would think they would have, like, rebalanced in the DS remake. If that was even the case in the originals. Maybe I was just super unlucky. Who friggin' knows? Okay, but with how little monsters are appearing, I think... We're not going to grind this out until level 4. Level 3 should be plenty. And there it is! Perfect! We learn heal, so now we don't have to rely on medicinal herbs. I think that's the perfect sign for us to move on. This is the Transmontane Tunnel, connecting Endor in the west with Casablanca in the east. A Tornico chap must have been ever so determined to dig out a tunnel like this. I mean, he just paid a bunch of workers for it. He didn't even do that directly, he gave an old man a bunch of money to pay workers for it. Like, not to take away from Tornico's work, but he did not build this by himself. If you happen across a fellow by the name of Tornico Taloon, would you tell him I was asking after him? Sure can do. And here we are, on the other side. Oh, uh, that's the wrong direction. Oops. Winksters again. Excuse me? Could you please chill? No, come on. Ah. Ah, uh, that was basically just a coin flip of who moved first. Would have been totally fine if I could have healed before that wingster moved. I mean, it's not that far. And this time we can just not take the wrong route. Yep, here's the bridge. That's how you actually get there. That was so unnecessary. Welcome to Endor! Princess Veronica and Prince Regan's wedding ceremony is happening over at the castle as we speak. We had a brief respite after the- Okay, you still say the same thing. 55 gold. So even if I didn't die, I probably wouldn't have had enough to buy anything interesting. <laughs> You'll find Endor Castle just through this gate. If you're here to attend the royal wedding, please make your way to the Colosseum. Uh, actually, I'm here looking for some party members. Being on guard duty isn't as easy as it looks, you know. I'll certainly be enjoying a drink or two when evening rose the bar. Maybe I've had a few already. <laughs> Such a worry having to think up menus every day. Thank goodness I have the mate to actually cook it all for me. Wow, I think I, I, I. You have it so hard. You have to think of stuff to, for your mate to do. Incredible. The young lady of the house always seems to be staring up at the sky. I wonder whatever could be so interesting about it. Maybe that's where she gets the inspiration for food from. Have you heard talk of Sorrow the Manslayer? He was in the end or tourney a while back and apparently he isn't human. Well, that's just a rumor, but he certainly seemed suspiciously strong. 
He certainly seemed sus. Same ta some time ago now, a black cloud went billowing across the sky to the east at an incredible speed. And then there were rumors that the chosen hero who was destined to save the world had died. Well, luckily, the rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Because here I am, but we don't have to tell everyone about that. Oh, hey, it's Mina. It's amazing. This girl's fortune telling is absolutely spot on. You should have yours told. Would you like me to be reading your palm or something? For just 10 gold coins, please, I will tell you all about your dear self. Sounds like a good deal. All right. Very good, sir. I'm seeing seven. No. Yes, seven. Seven lights surrounding you. Now, they are only teeny-weeny specks. I hope they will be very, very much bigger. Because actually, they represent the joke. No, it can't be. You must be the legendary hero. Me and my sister have been looking for you since so long ago. You have the power to defeat the evil one. We all must join forces together. It is our destiny that we stand up against this dark, dark power. And there are others, you know. Other people in the world with the same destiny as us. Actually, we must all be meeting up and fighting the resurrection of the Lord of the Underworld together. Because we are the chosen ones. Hey, Mina joins us. That was fast. Good thing she's a fortune teller. Otherwise it would have been a lot more difficult to... Uh, Tell her that, hey, yeah, actually, we are the chosen hero. Yeah, I know, you've probably heard that we've died, but, uh, long story. Okay, let's go. My sister Maya will be gambling at the casino again, chasing away all the old uncles, I hope. Okay, I... <laughs> Had to get my hair out of the way. Uh, <laughs> why did I just go through this house? The fellas away at the moment. He went off traveling in search of a legendary sword, which you believe? There's talk about that monsters are hunting him down. Just hope he's found some good, strong fiends to be looking after him. Right, so that's why we cannot... Um, add Tornico to our party immediately, because he's... Searching for the Zenithian sword. Um, right, the casino was downstairs here. And there she is. Oof, leave me alone now, please. I was knowing you would be here, sis. Dear goddess. You're really unbelievable, you know that? I'm working so hard to make us gold, but you are wasting everything here at the casino. Now we are broke! Damn, we're adding two broke girls to our party. I'm so very sorry. Hey, who's this handsome guy with you, sis? This is Possum, the hero we've been looking for. Never! That's killing, sis! I won't be messing about anymore. I'll do only what Possum tells me. I mean, that's a bit extreme. Maybe maybe just help along with our destiny. You don't have to do everything I say. Okay, let's get going. I foresee that if we travel east, we will be finding something of significance. When you want lots of tokens, you can cash them in prizes. Ah, oh, maybe, maybe later. For now, <laughs> look at that level discrepancy. Do we also get their money? No. Damn, that would have been helpful. Okay, but for now we 
have two level 10 characters, which should be enough to actually go to the east now. So, we're just leaving Endor behind, leaving Casablanca behind, and it's just some platypunks. Let's see who goes first. Okay, I kind of thought that either one of them would have just killed both, but for some reason... Uh, Mina just did a lot less damage to one of the platypunks. Oh, the botkin archers, but they're too stunned to move. Okay, so... Possum is fine. Doesn't have to worry about taking too much damage, and... We can just... Focus on taking them down. Okay. Nice. Is it just straight line to the next location? Oh, that's... That's a bunch of enemies. Um... Would you please all die for me? That'd be very nice of you. And maybe don't target down... Awesome, thank you. And tech should be enough. Yep, okay, good. And that leads to a level up for Possum as well. The heal didn't go through though, so let me take care of that. Oh, more of them. And they suddenly t Come on, now. No, please don't. Now, come on. Possum, you're going to defend. Mina, you're going to heal Possum. And Maya is going to start doing damage on these assholes. <laughs> oh, come on. Is that really how we are going to have to do this? I guess so. Come on, Maya. There we go. Awesome learns Frizz. And Maya gets level 11. Nice, nice, nice. But I, I wonder what's down there in that. Do I want to risk attacking with Possum and taking a bunch of damage? I don't think so. I think we're just going to try to deal with these guys as fast as possible by attacking with Mina and Maya and keeping Possum safe. Yep, and now we can just take them out. Nice. Awesome gets mid heal already. Wow. Thorny Devils. I think those are still manageable for Possum as well. It's not, and I mean, it's only two, so. They're not as overwhelming. Do you want to know what's down here? Like going straight through to that cave seems to be... Like, I don't know which, which way is the intended one, so let me just explore a bit. There's a little house here. No. Anything in the well? Nope. Damn it. 
I'm still going to check every single one of them. Hank Hoffman Jr. <laughs> you want me to give you my wagon so you can carry on your journey to save the world? Sounds mighty fishy to me. You can't expect me to believe a tall old tale like that. That's actually a reasonable response. Never mind, I ain't in the mood for people right now. Get out of here, will ya? Okay. Leave me alone, you hear? Packed lunch. Is Tornico here? Now I'm in a pickle. I was hoping to borrow a wagon to cross the desert, but that guy's a real hard nut. Sounds mighty fishy. No. You're pretty slow, ain't ya? Well, maybe I'll share a little story with you if you ain't budging. A long while back now, I was traveling around just like you are. I heard talk of the world's most important treasure being hidden in some cave. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe a cave that's just a little bit east of here. A friend and I moseyed on down there to see what we could find. He was my best buddy. Or so I thought. But then he went and snapped me in the back. <laughs> Makes me mad just talking about it. I ain't ever trusting no one again. Now get out of here. Well, that's actually an understandable reason. I mean, giving some strangers your wagon... Oh, hello. Why, why, did I, why did I sound like Mr. Frog there? <laughs> hello, hello, we hate you. <laughs> okay. Desperate... No! <sighs> God, please let me get out of here. Okay, that's just a normal attack. There we go. Those guys were mighty dangerous. Mandragores and a lugworm. Okay, Possum is going to take care of the lugworm and Mina and Maya... You're going to take care of the group. Which hopefully is enough, yep. Okay, so now we can just all wail on the worm. Mina level 11? No, possum level 7, okay. But also Mina level 11. I knew that had to happen sooner rather than later. It's just that one battle where Mina... Didn't make it to the end. I mean, it was the final battle of the chapter, but, you know, could be a lot worse. And just singular thorny devil. Just a little guy. Just a tiny little creature. Goodbye. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did we just punch through that wall? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Mina, Maya, are you alright? Hey, come back here. Thank goodness you've come to rescue us. We've been waiting here for so long time, but we knew you would be coming to find us sooner or later. That was like five seconds. Ari, yes, we've been waiting a long, long time. For you to fall into our trap. Ah. Frolickers. I'm a bit low for this. Ugh. Nope, that's not going to go well. 
Oh. God damn. I should have. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Mina and Maya are with me again. So, um, that's fine. Oh, I just noticed that we got a bunch of money. I should probably improve my equipment. Okay, scale shield for possum. And the chain mail. Yeah, let's reorganize the items, whatever. Oh. And yeah, I guess the hardwood headwear. And we're at 30 H defense. I don't think we have yeah. 92 gold coins. That's not enough money for a weapon. But now we can survive attacks a lot better. Which, I mean, was the big problem just now. Why did Mina and Maya trade places now? Like, why is Maya in, in the second spot of our party? go let's just go right back into the cave or not because we got some archers to take care of yeah, I'm calling your bluff with that buff there you go right down to the ground Now that I'm not trying to actively train up, we get a bunch of enemies appearing, sure. Okay, so if everything goes well, there should only be one Jinxter left after this turn. Ah, oh, two. Okay. It's also fine. Oh, Mina and Maya didn't get their MP back, right? Oops, nope. I meant to go here. Then I guess I'm just going to heal with Awesome for now. Mina is still fine with her HP, but I would like to heal Possum and Maya. And then we go right back into the cave and boom! This just opens up. Oh no, it happened again. Who could have seen that coming? Now this time with improved defense we should be able to take down the Frolickers. Razzle dazzle. Oh, of course, we hallucinate. Okay, but we're still hitting, at least. Ah, there it is. Okay. Take care of that one. I'm just going to use Frizz. Which hopefully, it's the right one. Okay. It's not enough. What the fuck? <sighs> Go healing. Frizz. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, Dazzle wears off. Hopefully I don't get dazzled right away again. Oh, okay. Left one doesn't have enough MP to do it. So now he's also able to just waste his turn. Yep, that's... That should be it. One on one, they don't have a chance.
There we go. Can I please get my party members back now? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, what is this Looney Tunes as bullshit? What has been taking you so long? We're really needing you rescuing here. What? You were fighting some monsters who looked really like us upstairs? Are you crazy? Please. Come on. If you don't get moving, we'll all be eaten alive. Oh, yes, right. The monsters won't stop until they've sucked every last drop of blood. Out of you. Uh, um, of course. Okay, so mustering its strength. Come on, take out one of them. No, that's still not enough. What the fuck? Yeah, that's it. Cool. Ah, what is going on? I should have probably just grinded up on the overworld to get Possum to the same level as as Maya and Mina. Three hundred and eighty-two. Do you have a better weapon for me? Actually, you do, and I can buy it. Hunter's bow. Let's equip that, and then because I am now just going to get Possum up to speed, I am going to rest. And then we will try again. But not before... Get a few levels in. Those two pixies don't give enough experience points. Now I want the, the Jingsters again. And now they, of course, don't appear. Ah, wait, there they are. Just need to complain. As always, as soon as you complain, you get what you want. <laughs> That's not a good message. Yep, that's another one down, and then with the Sizz... We got two left. Quickly take care of them as well. Level 8. We get zoom. Yo, Possum got the zoomies. Yo, a Winky. But I love Winkies. They're such weird little freaks. I love freaks. Freaks are great. Your friend group doesn't consist of a bunch of freaks. What are you even doing? Yo, Bantam Weights. Oh, you know what also has a bunch of freaks that I love? Yumi Nikki and uh, related fan games. I uh, watched a friend of mine play um, I think it's just called Collective Unconscious. Yesterday, on uh, Yuminiki Online, which is a cool way of playing those games because you can play it in browser, and um, you can come across other people playing it at the same time. If you don't want to meet other people, you can also just turn that off, uh, which I think works better for 
like the original and fan games that were made by just a singular person, like Dot Flow or something like that. Because I feel with those games, um, the isolation and solitude is an important part of the experience. However, um, with those fan games that are more of a community project, like um, like Collective Unconscious and, um, well, Yume Niki, or Yume Tuki, if you will. Um, like, because they're already community projects and don't have, like, this, this consistent through line of who designed the maps, I feel like having other people in there with you actually adds to the experience in a very cool way. We just have these, um... weird worlds that are strung together by a bunch of people. Um, and, like, it, it's, it's kind of reflected in the name of Collective Unconscious. Because that's that's kind of what it is. I guess because the people actively designed it, it's more of a conscious thing than unconscious, but now it's still meant to be like a dream realm and all that. Anyway. <laughs> there were some really great leaks in there. Like, on one of the maps, um... My friend was, like, taking a boat along some some water. And you just had, like, this weird one-eyed blob of a monster uh, in the background. Not doing anything, just staring. And that was just really cool. It kind of reminded me of the, the final boss of Yoshi's Island. Even though it did not come closer, but just... It, it looked really cool. And there was also this one moment... Um, like... I think he looked it up and it was like 12 maps deep or something. But he, he got to this one point where... Um, like you, you end up in some kind of neighborhood. But all the... Um, all the houses are paper thin. And he just came across a person there who was also just chilling. And they just sat next to each other and like just just talked for a while. And that whole map had like a really cool vibe anyways, because um the background music well, first of all, it was, like, set in a sunset. But then the the um, music was also this, like, lo-fi um, guitar loop. That kind of reminded me of, like, Midwest emo stuff. Like, American football or something like that. And also just... The combined uh, vibe of that whole thing reminded me a lot of Night in the Woods. Just without the little furry uh, characters. Like, <laughs> they basically talked about nothing for like 45 minutes. It was just like, oh hey, I have an effect that can turn me into a rat. Um, cheese to meet you? And it's just... Bullshit like that, but I I love moments like that in in online games. We just have these fleeting connections to other people who you will probably never see again, but you just share this special moment of without even knowing the person behind the screen, just connecting with them. It's like one of the most humanizing experiences you can have online, I think.
Anyway, because I was uh, watching him play that, I stayed up way too late. But I somehow still managed to get out of bed before 8 today. I don't know how I managed to do that, honestly. Okay, let's go for one more level. And we should be good. Hopefully. Probably just going to walk back and stay at the inn while uh, taking out all the enemies I run into right now. And hopefully when I get back to the cave, Possum is level 10. That would be... Optimal. Okay, Mina is level 12. That's not going to help us in those battles because we <laughs> we lose those two for them. But uh, still nice. Okay, so with the Bantam Weights, we do not want to use magic. Because we have a better chance of just taking them out with normal attacks. It's good to know. Good morning, I trust you had a restful sleep. What can archer thorny devils? Two stun to move, okay. I'll take that. That sounds good. Yeah, you know th those those just silly li little connecting moments in, in online games. I still have one that I look back at very fondly. Um I have not touched Overwatch in like six years, probably. Like, I don't even remember if I, um, if I played it while Wrecking Ball was a thing. I think I did. But like, what was that weirdo's name who, who was, um, like, floating barefoot? I think he was Dutch. Was it just Sigma? Is he a Sigma male? I don't... I don't remember exactly. I'm not into Overwatch at all anymore. But I, I was for a while when it, like, first released, and then... Like, a year, year and a half, half, half maybe? And then I kind of fell off, even before... Um, like... Overwatch 2 was, like, announced. I, I was already out at that point. And <laughs> funnily enough, I, I noticed um, recently that since then I also just haven't touched another Blizzard game. Hi, Ruby! How you doing? But, um... Yeah, when I was still playing, I had this this one moment where... Just uh, randomly, like, I was playing with friends over Discord, and we just randomly, like, hung out with part of the enemy team for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Good. Uh, it sounded like your brother? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was not on purpose. I just got really excited.
just woke up from a nap. At this time? We're on the couch, uh... Yeah, I... That, that happens to me a lot as well. You you are a lazy goblin. That is that is true. It's in your name. Yeah, I will also just have those moments where I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to lay down for like five minutes. I don't even plan to actually close my eyes or something. I just like don't want to stand anymore for just a little bit. And just like that, I'll fall asleep. And then, when I actually want to fall asleep at night, uh, yeah, <laughs> tough luck. Yeah. Yeah, staring at a screen the whole day is, um, really straining on the eyes. Sometimes you do need to take a break from that. Okay, maybe maybe we can get to level 10 just walking through here. There's even enemies appearing here. Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe level 9 will be enough. Let's try it. Oh, we gotta take down the Frolickers again as well. Come to rescue us. Oh. We've been waiting so long for you to fall into our trap. Yes, it's so surprising, the third time especially. Okay, that's one down. And the second one. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty okay. I cannot complain at the moment. What has been taking you so long? Oh, you were fighting some monsters who looked like us. No get moving. Oh. They'll suck your blood. Okay, hopefully... The few levels are the difference we needed. Okay, we already took one down. That's a lot better than last time already. And a critical hit. Don't even think we needed that, but uh, I'm not going to complain about that. That was a lot easier this time around. And we got to level 10 now. Neat. Okay, but where are Mina and Maya? Oh, come on, that's another trap. Don't even... Oh, they've been tricked as well. We know you're just a monster who's looking like possum. You're dead meat this time. <laughs> the music's starting. That's good. I like that. <laughs> no, wait, sis. I think this is really possum. I can feel it. Uh, maybe 
Okay then, I'll ask a question that only Possum would know the answer to. Mina was the one wasting all the money at the Endor Casino, right? No. <laughs> was an easy peasy question, but I suppose you must be the real Possum. I'm sorry we doubted you, please. It's just that we were attacked by so many monsters pretending to be you. We can't go on doubting you forever. I suppose we have to trust you. Okay then, let's go. <laughs> that was... That was a silly little sidetrack. Okay, what's actually... in the rest of this cave, though. What the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> Still so funny to me that you can just break these stone walls by running into them. Like... How... How fast are we moving to do that? Symbol of faith. I, I guess we were looking for that. Maybe. The strange jewel can open anyone's heart. Ah, okay. Okay. So I guess we're going to use mind control on the grumpy guy who didn't want to give us his wagon. That does not seem morally correct, but okay. <laughs> We've got special privileges. We're the chosen ones. Just a lugworm and some jinxters. That should be no problem for us anymore. Yeah, exactly. I am the main character. Anything I do is cool. And there's a bunch of jinxers. Jinkies. I don't even need to cast spells to defeat them, I guess. I could just mash attack, but... This way it's a bit faster, so we're not in that battle too long. Hello. What do you want, huh? Wait a minute. Sakes alive. What is that jewel you got there? Possum gives Hank Hoffman Jr. the symbol of faith. You know, it's kind of funny, but just looking at this here jewel makes me feel cleansed somehow. So, where did y'all find this thing? You kidding me? Well, ain't that something. You find a symbol of faith in the place my partner betrayed me. Hey, wait a honey fuggled minute. A honey fuggled minute? <laughs> Maybe things would have been different if I'd believed in my partner that time. That cave must be some kind of faith test in place. Oh, was his partner also... Like... Were there also monsters pretending to be his partner and he didn't trust? So he... Oh, no. There's some implications here. <laughs> the treasure I was after all that time was the faith to trust in folks. I sure was clueless, but now it's time to put it right. I'll start by trusting you. I want to join you folks on your journey. My horse will be coming along too. Hank Hoffman Jr. joins the party. You didn't have an introduction chapter. Let's get up on out of here. Oh, he's leading now? <laughs> oh, 
The horse's name is Mary Lou. <laughs> she ain't no crow bait, so I'm sure you'll say you're right. <laughs> Get up, girl! Hey, we got a wagon. Okay, is... Hoffman is actually an active party member. Huh. Okay, Crested Vipers. I don't think you should be too much of a problem. Oh! <laughs> Wait, look at look at his his face. <laughs> look at that, just ah ah. <laughs> oh, that's I I like that face. Set. <laughs> it's Videl. Go on. Then? Yeah. He even has the, the blonde saying here. I mean, it, it is just the Toriyama art style. The sweaty Yeti. Okay, I'm actually kind of thrown off by, by Maya and Mina switching places still. I did just try to heal with Maya. Ooh, you bought Sandland today? That's cool. I haven't, but I, I, I did try out the demo and it seems really cool. And I've, I've watched Gas play it a little bit. I <laughs> I raided into him at, at one point when he was like um I think fighting the final boss or something. So I was like, yeah, if you if you don't want spoilers, uh, look away now. Yeah, Sandland seems really cool. Also just looks really nice. Oh damn, we're getting really overrun right now. Maybe, maybe let's try Bang. How much does that do? Hey, could you... <sighs> Maybe not focus possum down. Ah. Well, I guess we gotta head back to the ca uh, Yeah, to the castle to go to church. Zoom. Um, here we go. Resurrection, please. In order to carry out this task, I shall require a small contribution of 110 gold coins. That's a fine amount. That's not too bad. I think my MP is fine though, so I don't think we need to um, rest up now. Okay, let's Try crossing the desert again. <laughs> Not 
the rest of those armors again. Don't even want to deal with them anymore. <laughs> okay, but if they don't all focus down possum, we should be fine. Yeah, if they spread out their attacks a bit more. Okay, now Maya is asleep. Should probably heal her. Okay, that's good. After one kiss snooze, that Stump Grump cannot uh, use a spell anymore because he's out of MP. Mina level 13? No, Possum level 11. Okay. And now Possum has Sizz as well. We didn't even learn Zap. Damn. Well, I guess we'll have to wait a bit longer to get that. Mm. Okay, let's take care of this guy first, I think. Maybe by sapping his strength, or like his defense, we can take care of him easier. Maybe we can put those two to sleep. Well, one of them. Um, next, Maya is going to take care of the stump crumbs while Mina is going to heal herself. Damn it. Maya is asleep again. I think we want to take out the restless armors first. They're a bit more dangerous than the stump crumbs. Mina, you're going to heal your sister. And possum. That really was a weird dance. What the f what the fuck was he doing? Just whoa, whoa. <laughs> Can barely No, I wouldn't even classify that as a dance. <laughs> okay, the heel slime is wasting his turn um healing the stump grump. It's fine by me. That way I can take care of Restless Armor. Okay. There we go. Mina learns mid heal as well now. Just a bit later than Possum. And we made it to the next town. Welcome to Bath, town of Baths. Bath. The perfect place for travelers to rest their achy bones after a long time on the road. Whatcha? New to the place, are you? Well, that was about I give you a grand tour then, eh? Nice, right? Then step this way. Yeah? What do we have here? That's the weapon and armor shops and all that business. Don't do much straight, but they ain't bad. I... Could have seen that on my own, yeah. And here we have the item shop. Ain't got much in the way of souvenirs, though, if that's the kind of stuff you like. As you can see, up here's the graveyard. It's the burial ground of the great warrior Bladud. Bladud? Laudud? <laughs> what saved the town once? <laughs> 
And this here is the church, see? This is where the town's greatest treasure is kept. Is it now? Ooh. Excuse me, Ilda, or I mean, Sister Ilda. Why if I show these punters the old you-know-what? Of course, the goddess welcomes all folk. So this is it, the famous armor what old Bladdard used to wear. Apparently it's got some amazing powers or something like that. Hey, mind if we take that? Apparently. Not too big of a fan of that idea, huh? And this here is the bath. Barf Sparf. Barf Sparf? What? Barf Sparf, I like to call it. <laughs> Get yourselves in there and your aches and pains will soon be gone. So, uh, where was your lot planning on staying tonight? Only... I can honestly recommend this place here. It's clean and comfortable, and the innkeeper's a top geezer and all. <laughs> Day in the life of a Brexit geezer. Let me guess, he's the... Yep. Yep, he's... <laughs> Welcome to our intro, Mary Travelers. 40 gold coins per night. That's a bit of a step up. So that was all just marketing for his inn. Is that... Why is there a flipped chair on the floor? That didn't even look... Oh, there's, there's two inns! <laughs> Oh, we got scammed. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's funny. I came here with my dad, though I had better show him I don't ignore him all the time. Well, where is he? Oh, it's... Probably the old man in the in the hot spring. They say the bath water so you make your skin clean and beautiful. But I really don't think I could get any cleaner or more beautiful. Oh dear, what's a poor girl to do? Well, you have a healthy amount of confidence. Good for you, lady. Good for you. Travel far enough south from here, and you come to an, to a shipping town called Porth Trunnel. That's where the ships leave from to go to them foreign places. Your travelers are always gallivanting off to. <gasps> a mini medal. Let's go. Oh, I feel ten years younger. It was my son that brought me here. I'm a lucky fellow to have such a caring lad to look after me. And you're a bit off the beaten path. <clears throat> I took the guided to tour to see the famous Blanet's armor, but it didn't look like anything special to me. In fact, it just looked like some cheap substitute. I wouldn't be surprised if someone had stolen the real armor and put that rubbish in its place. That's an interesting theory. We should look into that. Hey, can I take the armor? You'd like Sister Ilda to tell you about the town near Bladdard, would you? Le yes, he was a great warrior. Many years ago, when the town was attacked by monsters, it was Bladdard that saw him off. He stood tall till the end, he did. It was only the very last monster what finished him off, but Bladdard made sure he took the monster with him. So it's Bladdard we've got to thank for the wonderful town we live in here today. Oh, Pyrrhic victory against the monsters while taking down the final one.
Some people say there's a ghost in that there graveyard, but I don't know if I believe it. Nothing special. Ghost in the graveyard, probably only at night. Also, is this another seed of life? Is that, is that just going to be the running theme here? No, it's a seed of strength. Okay. Fair. Here lies Sir Bladud, brave warrior and savior of the bath. And nothing of note here. Nothing here. Okay. Oh, Bladud, brave knight of old, clad in armor, what gleamed like gold. In battle, he was knocked out cold. No, he's no good either. I've been trying to make up a song about Bladder, but he's not going all that well. Trying to get the camera... tricked again. Okay, let's see what kind of weapons we can get. So we got a bunch of money. Ooh, Holy Lance for Mina? Possum can get the Iron Lance. And Maya already has the Poison Moth Knife. Okay. So Mina gets the Holy Lance. Possum gets the Iron Lance. And in the armor shop. You're lurking while working on a character backstory. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. Good luck with the backstory. Mm. Probably just getting the iron armor for possum. And that's Basically all our money, I think. Put that now. Yep, okay. Not just all our money, but also all we need here. Cool. Oh, wait. Mia and Maya had the... There is the nightlight. So if we use that, we can just make it night immediately. And then, if there is actually a ghost on the graveyard... Haha! <laughs> I be bladded, I be. The armor I used to wear was called the Zenithian armor. Only some rascal stole any and taken any away somewhere. You must find ye travelers and return ye to his proper resting place. Okay, so now we got confirmation for our next objective. Which is to find whoever stole the Zenithian armor from Bath and bring it back. I feel like we could actually use that. Right? Legendary armor for legendary hero sounds good. Oh, another town. All right, all right. What's all this? The mini metal. Let's go. I found a village over the mountains north of Casablanca that got done over by monsters, ransacked it was. And folk have been disappearing over the sea in the Moxwell and all. <laughs> all right, all right, what's all this then? <laughs> if you ask me, it is all tied up with that Lord of the Underworld coming back to life. That's what I've heard anyway. Okay, that's not a barrel I can destroy apparently. Oh no, it is. My husband's always fretting. I've tried to tell him. That's why he's going bald, you know? He's maldin. <laughs> he's literally maldin. See if you can get through to him. Tell him to stop fidgeting and go to sleep.
Yeah, I, I don't think I can get him to go to sleep. What do you want? I, I was instructing this young lady in the teachings of the goddess. Uh-huh, sure you were. You reckon he's right? Could someone like me really go and serve the goddess? I ain't so sure I could. Okay, now he's just back in the, in the church. Doesn't seem to be anything too special. Ooh! Huh? What's up with you? I, I'm sorry, I just took me fancy as, it just took me fancy as all. But I only thought about it, I never stole nothing, can you pretend you've never seen me? No, what are you talking about? Please, give me another chance. Okay, I guess. Thank you, I, I ain't got nothing to give you in return, except I could tell you something. You know the mini medals you find every now and then? If you collect them all up, you can get some good treasure for them. Is that all? Just telling me about mini medals? Huh. They say there was an holy flame burning at the top of yonder Pharaoh's beacon. Now, it is an evil flame that makes all ships as come sailing by sink to the bottom of the ocean. An evil flame that sinks all the ships that are coming this way. Okay. That's an idea, I guess. Ah. It is only just a few days since that pharaoh speaking got took over by monsters, you know. But that horrible light's been shining out over the ocean ever since. It is a beggar of a business. Okay, it seems like we have to take a little detour to do that. A ship of me own. The dockyard's closed overnight. If you want to see what's going on inside, you'll have to come back in the morning. Hmm. I think we're fine to just move on and maybe... Where's, where's that pharaoh speaking? Should be along the coast somewhere, right? Oh, or maybe it's on that, um, on that little island there in the middle. I was a cargo lugger of war. Well, we ain't got nothing to luck now, no ships are sailing. I'm hell of a board. Hello there, my lovers. Traveling, are we? Well, welcome to Porth Tunnel, then. Horth Trunnel. Come to see the ships, have you? <laughs> They're doing some building work in the yard. Head for that big building at the arbor. First, let me check out this market. Do you have anything? Ooh, 2,000 gold, though. Don't have that kind of money right now. Oh, who am I trying to kid? I'm in no mood for selling. There ain't no ship sailing at the moment, you see? What a sorry excuse for a port. Now that's what I call bad timing. There was a hell of a lot of ships sailing out of port not too long ago, not too long back. But the lighthouse out east, Pharaoh's Beacon, well, he's been overrun by monsters, ain't he? Ships can't navigate now. Out east. So it's not the little island in the middle there. Oh, maybe we should collect some more information. This here's the dockyard. You're in luck. We're building a brand new ship at the minute. It'll be finished soon. Then he's gonna be a ship and a half. Like nothing you've ever seen. They don't know how to do business. They can make as many boats as they like. But no one's gonna buy them with that lighthouse as it is. Okay, so we're probably just going to... Ooh, someone... Okay, 15 gold coins. That's not a lot. Probably just going to get a ship for saving the lighthouse then. Hey, mini metal! Huh?
Here, where did you think you off to? There's cargo going through here all the time. You're blocking the path. I wonder whose ship this is. It must be costing armor to lack. No way, that's a heck of a big ship. When's it gonna be ready? Okay, that's a that's a funny little detail. That um like everyone here keeps saying hell of a, but the little kid says heck of a. Oh, who's the ship belong to? Can't you see I'm blimmin' busy? That's a question for the governor, not a matey like me. The governor? Oi, governor! I told Mr. Taloon we was chewing up his chip. We'll be ready soon. What's he up to? I hope he ain't been gobbled up by no monsters up at the beacon. Oh, okay, so if we go to the beacon, we can meet up with Fernico. That's cool. And then we finally have a full party of actual chosen ones. And, uh... Don't have to carry around Hoffman anymore. <laughs> Mr. Chaloon was talking about adding south once his ship's chew uh, clued up. Not chewed up. We're not termites. Said there's a feller in town called Mintos down that way with a map of all the world's oceans. Must be a hell of a big map. Ah, huh? seven gold coins. Okay, there's not a lot of money to get here, apparently. The Tornico fellow said he come from some place called Endor, far off to the west. Must be an art life for his wife and kids back home all on their own. But I suppose you can't do no good as a trader if you don't make a few sacrifices, eh? Pile of holy water. Okay, so the lighthouse that's been overrun by monsters, as well as Torneco, who went there apparently to uh, basically clean up the place, are out to the east. No, not the featherweights. The big chicken. Of course, he gets one more attack off, but there they go. Got a full bucket now. <laughs> okay, I think I saw it down there. Dealing with these Tyranodons is easy enough. And then before we enter the lighthouse, I'm going to just heal up real quick. Because I don't know what's coming. It seems like there's some way to... Oh no, there's the opening. And there's Tarnico! I see you, buddy. Okay, we got Crested Vipers. Those are not new for us. So... That's all fine and dandy. And there we go. Okay, if we go in here, get to the chests. 400 gold. Restless armors. I think we're going to try to snooze them.
Okay, both of them are put to sleep. Now we can just easily take care of them. And the heal slimes are no problem either. Very nice. In this treasure chest we have a seed of resilience. And Tornico. Hello there. I don't know who you are, but it is a fine time you've come at. I came here myself to get rid of that mansion evil flame that's burning at the top of the beacon. Not only the monsters here are as tough as old boots, I'm having trouble making my way up to the top. I know it's a bit of a tall order, like... But would you be willing to take over and get the job boxed off for me? Sure thing, buddy. You will? Well, that's grand. It was a holy light burning at the top of the beacon here till just recently, you see? And I'm sure there must be still... There must still be a few embers of it left here about somewhere. That's all you'd need to put out the evil flame that the monsters are burning up there now. Just need to find the embers. You want me to repeat all that? I'll run through it again for you if you didn't quite get it the first time. No, thank you. Uh, I got all that. Grand, I'll leave you to it then. We'll meet up back at the port. Uh, so we... Gotta do this first before he actually joins up with us. Hey, a mini metal. Um. Oh, one more metal. Was just about to say, I think I'm going to take a little break here, just a few minutes. And then we'll keep going for a little bit more. See how far we can get in this chapter. But, yeah, I'm going to be right back. If you want to get something to drink or need to go to the toilet or something, now is the perfect moment to do that. And I'll see you right back here in a few. And we're back. Okay, let's get this tower, lighthouse, cleaned out. Okay, thorny devils and jinxters. For some reason the monsters here have, like, <laughs> gone down in difficulty. Saw that one treasure chest over here. And we get a seed of strength. Crested Vipers. Also, no problem. There's two ways up. This one seems more straightforward. So I'm going to take the other one first. Which brings us to a treasure chest. Let's go. Vial of magic water. Is that? I was to heal MP, right? Yeah, cool. That's actually really useful. Oh, Skeleton Swordsman, those are new. And if they're anything like in other Dragon Quest games, they're actually kind of dangerous. Let's focus on them first. Uh, Maya needs some healing. Oh, damn. I should pay attention. Mina is uh, not able to cast spells right now. Uh, OK, 
Okay. Hmm. Guess Possum has to heal now. My Aunt Mina, you just attack. Okay, we got it under control. Nope, nope. Examining, I wanted to go to magic because now that we're out of battle, we are no longer fizzled. Can just kill everyone back up. And now we take the actual way forward. Okay, don't fall down here. Hey, what are you doing there, you little goober? Yep, where's Thornico? I heard he was coming here, so I've been lying in wait for him. I was going to leap off and smash his brains in. <laughs> I see, he got scared and ran away, did he? Right then, well, I don't care about you. I, 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 it's Thornico I'm after. So long, suckers. Cast zoom. And yeah, bumps his head on the ceiling. Eep, my head hurt. Knocked himself out. Well, <laughs> okay. I guess we don't have to fight him. Just going to knock himself out. Why can't more monsters be like that? Whoops. Oh. Oh, I fell off the... <laughs> I fell off the entire tower. Huh. Whoops. I did not realize that there actually was no wall here. <laughs> Metal slime! This is going to be the first one we actually beat in this game? Nope. Just runs away immediately. Because what else? Okay, take out the skeleton swordsman as fast as we can so he doesn't make our defense go down too much. There he goes. And then the Venus guy traps are no problem. What do we have here? The Moonward Bolt. That's against uh, Paralysis. Another two skeletons. And there they go. A Hunter's Bow. Uh, we don't need one of those right now. We're also still looking for the embers that are supposed to be here. Some oh! Well, what luck! <laughs> some holy embers, there they are. Well, that was easy. Okay, Restless Armor, Pteranodons. Uh, let's take the Restless Armor out first. Um, I think if we use Sizz with Maya, then we can just use Mina to heal. We should be all good. And of course, the last surviving Pteranodon does still use Sizz, so our entire party takes damage. Hey, Maya's level 14. Turns Sizzle. Hmm. 
Now when I'm saying what spell I'm using, it doesn't sound like I'm going to get shadow banned on Twitter anymore. Mm, actually, I think Maya's going to use Bang here, because I want to do some good damage to everyone here. Pteranodons can do spread damage with Sizz. The Skeletons can lower my defense, so that's both not very good for me. But there they go. And Possum is level 12. And learns Holy Protection. Which does... Keeps weaker monsters away. Oh, so now we don't even need the Holy Water anymore. I mean, I guess we still do if we run out of MP because that takes 4. Which is kind of steep for an effect like that. I would probably still prefer to use an item for that instead of using 4 MP. Oh, that's the wrong way up. Is there... There's just nothing up those ways. Huh. Okay. Then here we go. Already saw that there's some kind of Boss battle there. A golden tiara. Yeah, Maya's going to equip that. And that's all there is here. Let's get another Final heal in for Hoffman, so everyone's at full health. And then we got... <laughs> burn, burn, Dark Flame. Burn and make the stupid human boats founder. <laughs> huh? What are you? <laughs> Idiot humans coming up here. More fuel for the flames of darkness. We'll toss you in and watch you burn. <laughs> A flamethrower, a tiger gram, and another flamethrower. Okay, how am I going to go about this? really annoying part of this is that the flamethrowers are not a group, so using Sizz or Sizzle is not going to hit both, both of them. Same with Woosh. Um, so I guess we're just going to use Bang for them. Maybe try to put the Tiger Gram to sleep. They're doing spread damage. Okay, the Tiger Gram can be put to sleep, though. That's good. That's good. We're just going to use another bang. Um, Mina is going to heal herself. She's taking the most damage already. I think we should be pretty much in the clear if we take out the flamethrowers. I actually think we're going to mid heal Maya here. Maybe try to sap some defense from the flamethrower. Mina can heal Possum. Tigergram woke up. Only Hoffman attacked the flamethrower. That would have been good here. 
it's fine, it's fine, we can handle this. Maybe we can just put the Tigergram right back to sleep. Okay, the Flamethrower is defeated, Tigergram doesn't fall asleep. And now Mina is frozen with fear, so we don't have our dedicated healer ready. Mm. I guess Possum has to take over. And then we can burn the Tiger Gram. Same again here, but this time we're healing Possum with Mina. And try to sap the defense of the Tiger Gram. Maybe try to snooze him again. Oh yeah, especially because he can heal himself. And he's sleeping again, that's great. So now we're just wailing on him until he goes down. Okay, only one only one sap. And there he goes. Mina is level 14 now. Okay, let's use the Holy Embers. Maya is holding them. Put them into the Dark Flame. And the fire is cleansed. Very nice. The evil flame goes out and the holy light springs back to life. Well, we did our job. Goodbye, lighthouse. Some lugworms. Immediately. Oops. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I just used whoosh on that one enemy. That's not how you're supposed to use that spell. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just wanted to fill out the map a bit more here, but I guess that one quadrant is just unreachable right now till we go further east yo cyclones <laughs> yeah i guess them not being affected by by whoosh makes sense, but Sizzle should have totally got more of them. I guess we're just going to normally attack them. And Possum is level 13. We're only one level behind Maya and Mina now. More Cyclones. Oh yeah, makes sense. They can also cast Whoosh. Let's get back to 
whatever trunnel I forget what it's called. Horth. Horth trunnel. Did I go into this house? Oh yeah, right. That was where the molding guy was. A tornik was waiting. Yeah, it's a grand job you've done. So it is. Look how nicely all the ships are sailing now. That nasty flame's been put out by yourselves. My own ship's all boxed off now as well, you know? I'm as happy as Larry, so I am. Actually, though, I have a bit of a favor to be asking you. It seems I've made a few enemies among the monsters, and they're after me, like. So I was thinking if I could maybe travel along with a few tough articles like yourself. I'd feel a lot more secure altogether. Can we maybe join forces and travel the world together? Will you have me? Of course. You will? Oh, that's grand. Right then. Are we all fit? What's that? Your wagon? Aye, of course it can. There's plenty of room on me ship for a wagon. So then, let's be making tracks. We got Tornico in our party. The new team members' possessions are placed in the back. Time to set sail for all the unexplored lands and forgotten little islands in the world. Oh, speaking of forgotten little islands, that little island to the west is probably just uh, where we can bring the many metals, I guess. That one makes sense. We should be heading south first. There's a town down there by the name of Mintos. And I say there's an old fella there with an amazing map of the world. Uh, let me first check out what's here. Okay, no, that's definitely not where we go, <laughs> where we bring the mini medals. Uh, that looks a lot more foreboding. <laughs> I guess we are just going to go south. Oh, more skeleton swordsmen. Oh, I, I forgot to heal. Hopefully that won't bite me in the ass. Just need to get through this battle here. Okay, yeah. We're all good. We're all good. We're all fine. <gasps> hey, I think I know this place. Why, I surely do know it. This here's Mintos, as in Mintos, home of the infamous Conrad Ilton. Folks call him the god of trade, you know. Gee, um, this may come a bit sudden for y'all, but, you know, I've had a hawk killing time traveling around with you fine people. For that, I'll always be mighty thankful. But it's my dream to follow in my daddy Hank Hoffman Sr.'s footsteps and open up a fine inn of my own. Mintos is home to the god of trade, Conrad Ilton. He's ace high, and that's for sure. It'd be fine as cream gravy if you could learn a thing or two from him. I know it's a mite selfish of me and all, but I gotta ask you anyway, Possum. Would it be okay with you if we part ways it mean the world to me to stay on here? You know what, Hank? You've done your job. It's totally fine if you stay here. Why, thank you! I'll never forget you folks here, and I'll never forget how important it is to have faith in your fellow man, neither. You take care now, Marilou. I'll be praying for y'all to have a safe trip. Oh, 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 two. It's a bit chilly of a night, eh? Still, welcome to Mintos and all that. Woof! Oh, looks like I must have been asleep. Old man's lecture is enough to start anyone off countless sheep. Well, ain't no use in fighting it, I suppose. Kip time, night-night. 
really think that's going to be the, the best place to sleep. Just a little stool in the middle of the town. Just not even inside. <laughs> Okay, is there something here in the well? There's actually something in the well. A mini metal, let's go! I knew it would at some point be worth it. Oh, what? What's going on there? See that up there? Look at that. A warrior and a nun. A warrior and a nun. What are they doing at this time of night? Hmm. Hello! Truth is, ever since the first time I saw you... Oh? Please, my child, say no more. I am promised to the goddess. Oh no, a tragic love story. Mini metal, let's go! <laughs> Hello. What brings you to our church in the dead of night, child? Uh, actually, nothing. And a moonwork bulb. Okay, where's this god of trade, though? Maybe he comes out during the day and has one of his shops here? Or maybe... Oh! Wait, I'm I'm a little silly. Let's, let's hang up there on the roof. He's probably talking to him. Hank Hoffman Jr. I've been thinking to myself about becoming one of Ilton's apprentices, like... I don't know, though. Looks like bleeding art work. Maybe I can cut out for it. <coughs> I've been dead smiling all day long. Now my body's really kicking up a row. Most important rule of business is keeping a smile on your face by hook or by crook. But it sure ain't easy. That new apprentice, Hank Hoffman Jr., sure works real hard. He goes picking Elton's brains even after he's done a hard day's work. I'm beat. It's mighty fine to be able to cool off my heels at long last. Drumming up business ain't as easy as it looks. And up here. Oh, hello? Seed of Wisdom. Nice. What are you two doing here? As you are seeing, my traveling fellow is very sickened. Our mistress, the royal Tsarevna Alena, is gone alone to locate medicines. I am concerning for her safety also. I know it is eccentric to request favor from strange person, but I am seeing you have kind heart. Will you locate Tsarevna for me and give to her some assistance? Of course. Yoy, thank you so very much. I am dubbed Borea. I will also accompany with you. So now we got Borea and we're looking for Elena. Very well. I am going a little advanced to request from Innkeeper Nursing of Kirill. I am waiting afterwards that you come out to Wagon. See you momentarily. Hey, Kirill. Doing all right there? Ugh. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, you're just sleeping. And up here. Sounds like the start of Old Man Ilton's success was building an inn right here. That sure gets me thinking. Thinking about what? I opened up me in thinking I could pick travelers' brains about where that treasure on me map might be. But I reckon I'm probably rich enough now, eh? I ain't got time to bother with treasure no more. You going to give me your map, maybe? No? No? Ah. Can I... Okay, do I have to talk to him during the day, or do I have to have Torneco in my party or something? 
Let me go to the world map. Now I have the wagon. Uh, line up. Awesome, Nina, Maya, and Tornico. Confirm. Now we have Tornico in the party. What happens if I talk to Conrad Ilton now? Does this change anything? No. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll just have to come back during the day. Or maybe he doesn't give me his map at all. Who knows? Guess we can just explore the surrounding area a bit. We are on a completely new continent now, after all. Vampire battlers. I still haven't healed. Mina is almost out of MP. And a bunch of my characters are asleep. <laughs> this is not the best situation. But we should be... <laughs> hey, Possum <laughs> falls right back to sleep. Now everyone's asleep. Cool! Okay, Maya wakes up. Could you maybe uh, sizzle them? It's not too much to ask. Unless you... Okay, you're not affected. And Mina is awake again. Okay, that's... Two of them gone. And he cannot use snooze anymore. Okay. okay let me maybe just actually rest at the end. <laughs> That sounds like a good idea right now. Welcome to our Inwary Travelers. 30 gold per night. Okay. Still cheaper than that time we got scammed. Good morning. Phew, I am well and truly dragged out. Yes, sirree. That old man Ilton sure has a tough old way of dealing with folk. Maybe I've done gone and made a mistake coming to be his apprentice and all. On the southeastern side of the Syrac continent lies the tiny empire of Parthenia, renowned for its miraculous medicinal crops. The southeastern side of the Syrac continent, which is probably where we are right now. When I mentioned it to the princess who was staying at the inn, she dashed off without another word. I guess so. So we need to go to the southeast to find Elena. Kirill is still resting. Conrad is no longer up here. Where did he go to? Oh, he's giving lessons. Old, is, old Ilton is a real interpreter, I mean, entrepreneur, or he certainly knows a thing or two when it comes to business anyway. He reckons you gotta sell ideas to people, not just stuff. It's a tricky old game. Howdy there, possum. I've already been learning heaps of stuff from old Conrad Ilton over there, he's dreadful clever. He says business ain't just about money. It's about putting a smile on folks' faces, too. Now ain't that nice. My father's a trader, don't you know? That's why I'm here, trying to learn a bit about business. It's hard to imagine what the man next to me is gaining from all this, mind you. No doubt Mr. Ilton would call him a lightweight. <laughs> okay, that guy's still sleeping. <laughs> Conrad Ilton used to be an adventurer back in the day. He collected all sorts of treasures and then made a fortune by selling them off. He's the best businessman in the world, I reckon. You what? You want to ask if I'm the geezer who knows a lot about the ocean? I guess so. You muppet! I don't only know about the ocean. I know everything there is to know about everything. 
I ain't got no time for lightweights. Do your homework properly next time before you start asking questions. Whoops. Uh, I guess I don't want to ask that. <laughs> nice answer. Yep, I don't only know about the ocean. I know everything uh, there is to know about everything. Name's Conrad Ilton. That's Ilton with an H. <laughs> I'd say you've got promise, son. So, wrecking your game? Wanna have a bash at my little test? Sure, let's have a test. Nice, here's the question. What's the single most important thing when it comes to business? I couldn't have said it better myself. You're right. Silence is golden, as they say. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll give you me old treasure map for doing so well. I'd come across it when I was a nipper, but I've never did figure out where the treasure was. It's yours. Hey. Got the treasure map. Maybe you'll be able to find the treasure, eh? You should give it a go. Close inspection of the map reveals a secret location which is marked on the world map. Oh, so if we if we leave the town now. Is there Oh yeah, there's just a giant X on the, on the top screen now. Huh. Cool. Well, I know where we're going next. Well, first of all, we need to take care of this featherweight. There we go. And then, it's to the east. Skeleton Swordsman. And a level up for Tornico? No, Maya. Tornico is a bit behind though. So I would like for him to get some levels. I mean, he's not the... Skeleton Swordsman Ace. I start to spin... What? Okay, he just confused the skeleton. Not sure how he did that, but cool. <laughs> I guess he just learned some tricks if you're a merchant. There he goes, level 12. Learns Whistle. With that, we can get monsters to appear whenever we want, which is nice if we need to get some grinding in. Okay, so the giant X is in the middle of that desert. Just gotta find a way in there. First, take care of these mushroom mages. Tornico does a weird dance. <laughs> Okay, if, if that's how merchants work, maybe I should, um, when the HD 2D remake for 3 comes out, play with a merchant in my party and not just use it for that, uh, one town. Because those, those effects are pretty neat, and if you don't even have real control over them... Metal Scorpions... Ratat Attacks. <laughs> okay, Ratat Attacks. I'm worried about the Metal Scorpions, though. Do not like those. Let's maybe try to get the Reddit attacks to sleep and then take care of the middle scorpions. 
Okay. Oh, they just defend. Okay, I was worried about nothing, I guess. Yeah, you can also just put them to sleep. Oh, they have several actions per turn, so they can attack and defend at the same time, I see. Okay, but they are not as dangerous as I thought they would be. Oh, especially not if it's only one. Like, just judging from their design, I would have thought they would be a lot stronger. But I guess they're manageable. Okay, that... That desert seems to be completely blocked off. So I guess we need to find a way to fly before we can get there? Or something like that? Tornico just stares blankly into space. Tornico, please. Maybe this is, uh, like, uh, the, the opening to Roan in Dragon Quest 2 and we, like, get an item to open up this, this mountain range, and that's how we get there. Either way, we cannot get there right now. Ah, oh, just two mushroom mages. How cute. They're no danger at all. And down here we have... Welcome to the mighty empire of Parthenia. Yeah, this does not look like an empire. It looks like a little village. Home of the mirac miraculous fever few plant, the finest panacea known to man. Of course, our material wealth is waning somewhat now, but we still have a rich tra tradition and strong pride to uphold. Okay, nobody in here. Oh. Oh, this is the inn. Just leave in this little, little hut. Okay. Who are you looking for, did you say? Well, there was a young princess here by the name of Elena. Was she alone? Oh, no, there were at least three men with her. Seemed to recall a knight, a traitor, and the rather tough-looking fellow, too. Is this... the imposter Elena from Chapter 2? Whoa. Look, Marmaduke, you can see our faces in the pond. <laughs> Welcome, strangers. I am Claudius, Emperor of Parthenia. Though times have been hard since we lost our fever few crop. Oh, no, they lost it, really. My predecessor, Emperor Crescentus, se secreted away some of the precious fever few seeds in the Imperial Pantry south of here. But monsters have taken up residence there now. The pantry is all but inaccessible. My empire is crippled, so I must apologize, sir. If only I had some fever few seats, I would gladly grant your wish. Oh, you arrived here from Mintos, did you? My daughter moved there when she was married, you know. I have a couple of delightful grandchildren there now, too. I wonder how they are. I've been plowing these fields for more than 30 years, I have. What? Fever few? No, there's none left now. The whole crop was wiped out in the drought five years ago. I'm into carrots and marrows. That's the future now, sir. Well, that's not the future for Kirill, though. Okay. 
Okay, nothing in the shop. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. You may enter at will. Yeah, great palace you have there, guys. You are in the Imperial Throne Room. Are you here for an audience with the Emperor? His Imperial Highness is presently occupied in the uh, fields. I'm sorry to say that our Empire is in such a dire situation that even the Emperor must work like a commoner. I mean, probably good for him to, to know how the commoners in his supposed Empire live. His Imperial Highness is a jolly decent gent. But even all his hard work isn't enough to reunite us with our former prosperity. Not since we lost the fever few crop. It's a dreadful shame for everyone, including the Emperor. Well, only solution to that problem is going south and retrieving the crop. So this is cave where is to be found these fever few seeds. Oh, it's, it's actually Elena who is with these three guys. Oh, that door, it is locked. Very well. Onk. Hiya! Yo! Door is no longer locked. We can go. <laughs> God, I love Elena. I thought Miss Elena had the thief's key. I suppose she just really wanted to kick it down, eh? Oh well, the result's the same, I suppose. On we go! <laughs> oh, that's... That's great. <laughs> Oh, we got... <laughs> we got these panels, huh? Seed of Agility. Wizards. Wizards. Okay, let's... Ah, uh... oh, they're split into two groups. Damn it. I guess we will just bang to get more of them. Oh, we already took one down. Oh. Huh. Okay, the wizards are not affected. And they do more damage with their spells than the vampire battlers do. I guess we take those down first. Chronicle and Possum fall asleep, but no, we don't have to deal with the wizards anymore. That's good, at least. And if we um, heal here and then... Hopefully... Yep, okay. Maya's attack kicks... Attack takes care of the final vampire battler, so now we only have... A heal slams left. And Tornico's level 13. It's already caught up to us. Okay, heal everyone up. And down we go. <laughs> Hello? Why are you just running in circles? Fancy seeing you here. You remember me, don't you? We met back at Casablanca Castle. Sorry we couldn't let you join us back then. There were too many people in the group as it was. Up ahead there is Tarevna Elena. She's traveling with us at the moment. We saved her, well... 
she saved us, truth be told, and then we all came here together. We were on a journey to prevent the Lord of the Underworld from destroying the world. Hey, that's... That's a funny coincidence, so are we. We have so much in common. I mind you are also searching this Feverfew seed. But Feverfew seed will be mine. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. Powie, yowie. What a name. I don't know, I kind of like the sweaty yeti better. Sizzle and then just eat them down. There we go. Here we have the seed of life. Neat. And when we follow these right here, we get uh, nowhere. One powie yowie. Oh, I just noticed that the um, arrow panels are also in the battle background. That's, that's cool. That's a neat little detail. Okay, 800 gold coins, and we're back here. And if we... Oops. The wizards. Just bash them down. There we go. Okay, so we want to go here. A rope of serenity. Hmm. I was kind of expecting that to be the the crop, to be honest. But I mean, a rope of serenity is also pretty useful. That protects the wearer when asleep or paralyzed. When asleep or paralyzed? I think that should be from falling asleep or being paralyzed, right? Isn't that what it does? Oh. Well, there's a hole in the ground. But it's not near a tree by a river. So there has to be... Another answer to this riddle. Okay, Tornico just man uh, managed to knock that vampire battler to the ground by sweeping at his legs. Even though it's hanging from the ceiling? I mean... Respect? How do I get there? Maybe I don't actually want to get there and that's just another way, like, if I fall down somewhere. Hmm. Okay, wait. If I go here, this takes me around the hole. But then I only have that one way back anyways, so that doesn't actually help me at all. Hey, Mina is level 15. Cool. Okay, so maybe I... Do you want to go down some stairs? Okay, what I don't want to do is get in there. Oh, 
Infernal Armors. I haven't seen you before and I'm going to be kind of careful about you. I put you to sleep. That works perfectly. Great. Excuse me, Tarniko just put everyone to sleep? <laughs> okay, except for one Pau Yaoi. But damn, Tarniko. Just by singing a lullaby? Okay, Mina, you're going to heal your sister. Maya, you're going to use Bang. And Tarniko, you do whatever you're doing and it's, it's working out great. Okay, the Infernal Armor is taken care of. And the Howie Yowies should be done now as well, yep. Okay, let's look at this a bit more. There's two holes here. I went down that one. So maybe if I go down the other one, it's going to bring me forward. Let's see. Nope. Home. Okay, maybe I want to go around again. Oh no, the wizards get the first strike. If they all use wish, that would be... Okay, they didn't. Mm. Actually, no. Using wish is probably a bad idea. Maybe Bang could help. <laughs> okay, that's one of them down. Mina healing Maya. Using Bang was a good idea. Okay, only one wizard left, and there he goes. Possum is level 14. And Tornico 2, or is this... No, it's Tornico... Level 14 as well. To do a lot of healing here though. Slowly running out of MP. <laughs> really need to figure out how this puzzle works. <laughs> okay. Let's explore this a bit more. Uh, let's snooze you guys. And then we go. Yep, now you can just bash on him. Two critical hits this battle. Wow. Right, that's how we got uh, Rope of Serenity. 
Here we have a Powie Yowie. Just on its own. We are getting a lot of crits right now. Um, maybe if I take this one. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I need to go all the way around there, then take the left arrow down. Oh, come on, guys. Just hit them, please. No, don't. Oh, everyone except for Mina. Really? At least Possum and Tornico immediately woke up. Okay, and that's that battle. Now let me actually go the correct way. Here I need to take this and go here and down the stairs. Oh, what is this? <laughs> What the fuck is even happening here? What the fuck? I'm not even going to try to understand all of this. Okay, this brings me back to this side. This makes me turn around. Oh, God. Of course, we get more wizards. Which are the, no the most annoying enemies here because they can call for backup and spread damage around the entire party. And there's a second whoosh. King Slime defeated. And only one left. There we go. The medicinal herb. Okay, if I go here, up here again. I then take this and come down here to this treasure chest. It's actually a cannon box. First one of those. Uh-oh, and I didn't heal before this fight. Hey, Mina, can you put this to sleep, please? Okay, it did fall asleep. Let's just take it out before it can do anything. There we go. Love for Maya? Yeah. Maya's level 16 now. Learns Drain Magic. Okay, how do I get over there? Go on that one. Do that, I need to go on that. Uh, I tried to go on the upper one, but it put me on the lower one. There we go. A fever few seed. There we go.
Come on now, just get me out of here. Vampire battlers. We're fine, as long as they don't put everyone to sleep. Then it's only possum, that's totally fine. And possum falls right back asleep. Damn. And back up we go. Where's Where's Elena and the other guys? I guess they must have left without us. Oh no, more vampire battlers. I should definitely heal up after this fight though, in case we run into some wizards. Heal on Tornico. Possum can use one more heal on Mina. Okay. That should be good enough to get out of here. Well, it's just a Powie Yowie and some vampire battlers. So, unless this goes really badly. Probably didn't even need to heal. I mean, we also could have just used evac. But unless it's a really long dungeon, I do like to just walk the way back just to get some more experience points. Makes it so you need to do less dedicated grinding if you spread it out like that. Okay, let's just get this little tip of the continent filled out. Salamander fries. They started to run away from us, from us I've noticed, in the cave. Like that. So they're no longer a problem for us. So this out as well. More salamander fries. <laughs> God, Tarnico's random effects are really, really funny. Ooh, level up. Oh, yeah, right, we have Borea with us. Totally forgot about that old man. Hello. G good goddess, fever few seeds at last. Quickly now, you must sow them in the soil here. They shan't take long to grow. So now we sow the fever few seeds in the furrows. Oh yeah, that that was really fast. Fever few shoots start popping up all over the place as everyone looks on in disbelief. Thank you, good sir. You have saved the empire. I should like you to take a fever few root with you as a trophy of this most auspicious occasion. There we go. But um, it seems that Elena has already gone ahead back to Kirill. So let's go after her. I 
I wonder if they included stuff like if you have uh, Borea in your party, you can actually get Elena earlier or something. That would that would be a really cool little detail. But I'm unsure if they would have actually thought of stuff like that. Okay, and that's the entire continent filled out as well. Oh! What's this? Ooh, we got some traveler gates. If you travel a long way southeast of here, come to the Empire of Parthenia. I've already been there. Those doors are locked, though. That's good to know that those are here. We got that marked on the map now as well. And some metal scorpions. Luckily, not as dangerous as they first look. Hey, level up for Tornico! Tornico is overtaking us now. It's really fast leveling up, apparently. Okay, let's... Oh, hello. I've already been left in charge here, you know? There ain't no stopping me now. Y'all have a safe trip now, you hear? Damn. Hank really... Moving on up in the world. Good morning, I trust you had a restful sleep. Do come again. Hey, hello. I don't believe you people. You have fever for your route? I went to a place, but I could not find nothing. I abandoned my hopes, but now I am so much happy. Hurry, you must give fever for your route at Kirill. Hey. Oh. Hey, who has that? Oh, perfect. Boria. Boria mashes up the fever for your route and feeds it to Kirill. Color comes back into Kirill's cheeks almost instantaneously, and he suddenly recovers. Oh, oh, Tsarevna Elena, you are here! Thanks to the goddess, you are waking again. I am so very much ashamed. My duty, it was for protecting you, but... Never mind any more kill. We must to continue our voyage and locate the Tsaro the Manslayer. Oh? What you are saying? Oh? You are also searching the Tsaro the Manslayer. It appears the village possum is living in previously suffered attack by this Tsaro. Perhaps it would be wise if... I have idea! We must to travel together. The more people we are, the merrier we are. So true, Elena. We're really getting our party filled up now. New team members' possessions are placed in the bag. We hurry outside to wait in the wagon. Wait a minute. I know, I shouldn't have been listening in, but I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. It sounds like we have the hero who will save the world among us. Among us? A great possum. That chap who was staying here before, Ragnar McRyan, said something about how he was looking for a hero. My memory serves me correctly, he was off to the Palais de Leon, way over in Libeccio, the west. Well, that's just great. We can combine Maya and Mina's desire for revenge with our goal of getting our final party member, Ragnar.
So let's go over to the west. Whoops. A little bit more west. Men of War. Hello there, guys. Would be really nice if you didn't bother us. Thank you. And we've almost made it. Here we go. Back to the Palais de Leon. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Did not mean to immediately leave. Hello. But we don't have anyone who can... This is the Grey Palais de Leon. We have just caught a wandering knight trying to sneak inside the castle. The Marquis is going to interrogate him personally. Once the Marquis has sealed his fate, there is nothing anyone can do. He will not be long for this life now. Only the right key will open it. Hey, Elena? Where's the thief's key? Can I maybe give that Tornico? Is that? Nope. It's not the right key. Hello! My name's Healy. I'm a Globetrotter too. Can't you do something to help my friend Ragnar? They've taken him away inside the castle. Oh, wait! This is Healy! Why did he take on human form? <laughs> if only I had that magic key, I could squeeze my way inside and save him. Yes, an old goo friend of mine told me all about the magic key. She lives underground in Au du Mont. Oh, that's... That's the slime in Maya and Mina's old home. Oh, a dragon pup! Oh, cute. Kill it. Okay, so... Here... Downstairs. Don't be mean to me. I'm not a bad slime, you know, I promise. <laughs> See, I'll even tell you something. This wasn't Mr. Mahabala's only laboratory. He had another super squishy one. It wasn't the cave to the west. The magic keys there, goo. It'll be useful to you. Haven't we already been to the cave in the west with Maya and Mina? That's where we got the, the seal of uh, silence. I wonder, I wonder. Okay, we put two infernal armors to sleep. Killed one of them. the other one down and come on there we go not just the venus guy traps and if we go into the cave this should be familiar to mina and maya i came here looking for the secret alchemist's laboratory but there's just no way to get further down in this cave. I've looked everywhere. All I know is that there's some switch at the bottom of a treasure chest somewhere that's supposed to uncover the way down. Oh. Okay. So we need to check some treasure chests that we might have already opened.
Okay, let's heal up. Mm, heal on Possum. And on Maya. And then just heals on Mina and Tornico. Nothing in there. I just noticed that we took the wagon with us inside the... Uh, inside the cave. I don't know, it seems like that would be a little uncomfortable. Having a whole ass wagon and a horse inside of a cave. Like, that would take up a lot of space. And there is dungeons where you, like, leave it outside. Hey, Elena leveled up, though. So I guess it's good for that. And it's also good because uh, that means we can use Kirill to heal. That should be useful to save some of our MP. Oh hey, flamethrower! Already demoted from boss battle add to just normal random encounter. Yo, buffalo wings! Where's the blue cheese, though? Level up for Kirill. Learns Fizzle. So if we rematch Balzac, we don't even need the seal of uh, silence anymore. Because we can just cast Fizzle on him so he can't use magic. Okay, we're still looking for a switch at the bottom of some treasure chest. Maybe it is that one? Or it's this one. Oh, that one's empty. We need to take the other way probably and it's that one in the middle of the lake, pond. Puddle, body of water. Okay, I did not read what Tornico did to the flamethrower, but it didn't seem to do anything. Maybe he just had like a nice little talk with it. Oops, uh, hey Kirill, can you please heal Maya? Thank you. We go up again. Then we take the other elevator here. <laughs> but not before we munch down on some more buffalo wings, I guess. Oh, it doesn't even appreciate Tornico's lullaby. Oh 
god. I, I don't know why, but just saying Tornico's lullaby reminded me of... <laughs> of um, an anime I once saw, if you can call it that. Anyone remembers Pico Taro? The, the guy who did the Pen Pineapple Apple Pen song? Udo Gurus. Yeah, that's definitely a name. Yeah, there, there was um, an anime about the uh, Pen Pineapple Apple Pen guy called uh, Picotaro no Lullaby Lullaby. With, um, I don't even think you can call it limited animation. There was barely anything animated in there. But it was, um, was a real fever dream of a show. Each episode was only like five minutes or something. If even that. Holy shit, those skeleton soldiers are really destroying us. Ah, damn it. Why do they take so much damage? What the fuck? Uh, hey, hey, Elena, can you come in? Of course he dodges. Yeah, great. Um... Also going to change possum for... for, uh... Kirill, I guess? And Kirill can... Try to heal Elena, and then Elena can attack. Okay, come on now. What the fuck were those enemies? Why was that such a <laughs> jump in difficulty? Line up. Uh, this will bring Possum back in. Then um, Tornico, Elena, Kirill. Only problem here is that Kirill only has heal, no mid heal. Which makes this a bit annoying. Alright, I just came from here. That battle took so much out of me that I completely forgot that we already went down. Hopefully I don't just run into one of those battles again because what the fuck? We just had the Skeleton Swordsmen. Why do they summon Skeleton Soldiers, which hit like trucks? Chest is empty. There's a switch at the bottom of the chest. Okay. We found it. Oh, it's just... Just a scared case. Uh-oh, more Skeleton Soldiers. Uh, Kirill, can you maybe... Buff Possum's defense? Possum attacks, Tornico attacks, Elena attacks, Kirill heals Possum.
Oh, great, they can heal as well. I mean, at least that means they use up their turn and don't deal a shit ton of damage to me. What the fuck did Tornico do? Something with flapping on his face and did it trickle it? What? Excuse me? However, it seems that using buff against the skeleton soldiers is the exact right thing to do. Because that did do... Um, that made them do barely any damage at all. Hey, a mini metal. And we get the magic key. Oh, we got it. Is there anything in these bookshelves? If this is like a super secret laboratory. My quest for the magical staff, chapter four. I am Rowand. Rowand. Because it's like a wand. Okay. The Wandering Wandsman. I'm not happy about it in the slightest, but work is work, and so I must venture to that cave. It seems that in order to find the magical staff, I must locate the treasure chest in the deepest part of the cave and examine the bottom of it. Of all the places, the deepest part of the cave, I ask you. Somebody up there must really hate me. Oh dear, I'm getting quite agitated by the whole thing. Once I find this magical staff, I think it might be time for a career change. Maybe I'll go back to my hometown and use what little savings I have to start some kind of business. It's about time I did what I wanted for a change. Okay, let's just use evac this time because I do not want to deal with those freaking skeleton soldiers again. Oh, hey, <laughs> more Venus guy traps, but after what we just went through, that's like a walk in the park. Oh, no, Elena is kept from casting spells. Was that? No. Huh? It, didn't I just read that? Like there were two that used fizzle. I don't know. Whatever. We're back in town. The boys are back in town. Okay, I would like to rest for a second here. I wonder if this is free if you have Mina and Maya with you. Okay, can I... No, okay. When I go into town, I leave the wagon behind. Okay, let's put... Yeah, no. Cousin Tornico, Mina, and Maya. Then... Wait, I think there wasn't a church here. Can't even... We're zooming. I don't know, I guess to Parthenia. Hey, do you have a church? You do. Uh, did not mean to save, but all right. Yeah, so I do con I want to continue for just a little bit more. Because it seems like we're really close to getting all our party members together. If that's the case, then getting Ragnar into our party is probably the last thing I'm going to do today. First, we need to resurrect Mina and Maya.
Now, I want to see if that actually works. Well, I can't even, can't even teleport over there. I need to teleport to the Palais de Leon. Then I need to go south back to here. Huh. I wonder why you can't zoom here. Baudemont, as we're now rather grandly called. Yeah, it's actually free if you have Mina or Maya in your party. That's cool. I like that. You know what? I actually think I want... Um... Elena with me in my party. Because she's like more of a damage dealer than Tornico. Wild beasts! Wow! Yo, there we go. That's why I wanted Elena in the party. I'm not sure if Boria or uh, Maya is the better mage, but Mina is definitely the better healer compared to Kirill, because Kirill only has heal and Mina has mid heal. Okay, now we just go into the castle. There he is. Hi, Ragnar. Come quietly or there will be trouble. Wished. We near like you cannot stop the mighty Ragnar McRyan. Yo. Losh, your appearance, your dress. He's just who I was expecting it to be. The legend was right. So Ragnar McRyan finally manages to find the chosen hero. I've traveled far and wide to find you, possum. All over the world I've been. Not that snows the time for me to be complaining of that they can feed, mind you. Inside this room, here is one of the evil monsters who to destroy the whole world. Let's break the door down together and show him what we're made of, shall we? In we go. Dragon? You, you have no business being in here. I'll take care of things here. You go after the Marquis de Leon possum. Hurry. I am the Marquis de Leon. Sarah the Manslayer has appointed me ruler of this land. Oh, I see we have met before. You are the girls who came for my henchman Balzac, no? I regret to inform you that he is no longer here. Quel dommage. But your timing is perfect. Zenui was becoming too much for me. Now I will show you just how feeble you humans really are. And you will feel the anger and hatred for your goddess that she created such a worthless race. Here we have the Marquis de Leon. Hopefully we... are at a point where we can actually beat him. Can I put him to sleep? Doesn't fall asleep, damn it. I can lower his defense. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I think we might need to do double healing duty here. Okay, can I set more of his? No, once. Okay. Oh shit! That's 
If, and Mina is dead. And Maya is almost dead. God damn. Uh, don't have enough party members to <laughs> Damn it. Um, shit. Mm, what to do, what to do, what to do? Uh, sizzle? This is not going to end well. Holy... Yeah, what the fuck? It's not yet time for you to die. God damn. Okay, but I can immediately go back to him. It's not like there's some um, long, uh, long dungeon before him. Um, okay, how? Can I do this at this point? Or should I do some... Okay, first of all, I need to resurrect everyone. I guess I could use Kirill. To boost my defense. Because, like, his... His physical attacks are really strong. But I am unsure if that's actually going to be enough. So honestly, I think... Ragnar's going to have to wait a bit. And we're just going to end it here. And then we just have another goal immediately for for next stream. So yeah. I don't think we're going to try the Marquis de Leon again today. I'll do a little bit of grinding in between. Get everyone a little bit higher. Especially the chapter 2 characters, because they are a little behind what uh, when it comes to their skills, uh, specifically Kirill. Only having heal seems a bit weak. Um, so yeah, that's something I'm going to do until ne uh, next time. And now I guess we'll just see who we can raid. And then, I mean, it is also pretty late already, so it's probably a good time to go. Hmm. Ophia is about to start. Mario Party. That sounds like fun. I think we're going to raid Fia.
All right. Going to set up the stream, uh, stream, uh, the raid. There it is. And we are going to um continue this next time hopefully beating the marquis de leon much easier than <laughs> having a, an easier time with the marquis de leon than we did this time you can tell that it's, it's getting late my sentences are becoming more and more incoherent anyway <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out this evening. And uh, bye bye.